Okay, hey guys, Techie Tutorials here yet again, and today I'll be bringing you a picture in picture, a PNP, a pip, a pip, a pip, a pip, a, pip, a picture in picture tutorial in Sony Vegas Pro 9.0. Okay guys, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to tell you I'm on Twitter, so go follow that <laughs> Sorry, beep, um, I'll beep that out. So yeah, I'm on Twitter now, um, I'll put the link there on the screen and in the underbar down by my crotchal area. So you can go and follow me if you'd like to, and if you don't, well you don't have to, okay? Seriously, no big deal. Okay, so as usual we're going to go to new. We're going to open the video file files import them, whatever you're doing. Now once you've that done, what you're going to do is your the video that's going to be in the background that's full screen, or that's not full screen but that's in the background maybe, that's going to go on the bottom video track. That may, might not make much sense listening but if you look on the screen you'll see that the video is on the bottom video track, that's the one that's going to be in the background. Now for every video that you want to place on top of the video and um, that's going to have to go on a video track above the original video so as you can see we'll just bring our video down our second video and put that on a video track above and to create a new video track just do as I did there right click and say insert video track now that we've that done we're going to go into the event pan crop of the video on the top video track the one that is going to be smaller and in front of uh, above on in there you go picture in picture so the video that's in the big picture we're going to go into that event pan crop by using the up arrow key if you cannot see the event pan crop button click the event pan crop button or you can right click and go into video event pan crop Whew. okay so once you've that done you're going to zoom the video out and make it um however small you like if you'd like to keep the aspect ratio make sure you keep that tick to the side there's a button that says keep aspect ratio and uh, so once you have that the size you wanted we're going to close that now we're going to go over and we're going to go into the track Okay. now once we go into this as shown on screen you can see that um, it's basically it looks kind of complicated so you know we, I haven't got a tutorial on this yet so don't be scared you know it's me yeah. uh, so what you're going to do is do as I do on screen you're going to bring your mouse over and we're not going to go near the X Y or Z axis don't do that okay just you know it's it's easy to fix but just I don't want to go through this in this tutorial um, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just click inside the box here and drag it to wherever we want on the screen. Now make sure you're using the preview window along with this just to make sure that you're not, you know, placing it halfway off the screen and then only realize when you render. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're using the preview screen and move it about in the track or in that window and um, put it where you want it. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And for each video you want to do again, you can do it as many times as you want, you just enter a new video track and put it out and then you can zoom out and move it around and all that shebang add effects, put in different videos, you know whatever you want, text, all that stuff and then of course all you need to do is render which is the basic stuff if you don't know how to do that Bing! you know click there, that on annotation that just popped up with the sound, that was amazing wasn't it, I know um, so yeah guys the last few tutorials have actually been requested so make sure you request your tutorial and uh, it can be the next one that I actually make so yeah any problems uh, mail them to me hello to any new subscribers uh, I'd like to keep in touch with you you know comments mail whatever send me your videos I, li I like to watch what other people create um, not necessarily because they use the effects but just to see what they're creating some, uh, some cool people out there and uh, yeah, if you have any trouble or any questions, don't feel dumb. Just send me a send me a comment or a mail message, whatever they call it these days. I don't know, I'm too old. And yeah, follow me on the tweets, the tweeters, the Twitter, whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, stay updated. No, I'll keep you updated. Sorry, that's the way it's supposed to be. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Yeah, I should really stop rambling. Okay. Um. I don't know how to close this video. Peace.